back to my channel. My name is Marley, aka The Glam Goth, and today I'm finally, bitch, finally talking about my new all-powerful matte lipsticks. I came out with four beautiful, stunning shades and three lip liners that we're all gonna dive into. I'm gonna swatch them. I also just got lip fillers, so my lips are gonna be, they're gonna hate me after today. Gotta do what we gotta do. First, I wanna, I really wanna show you guys the lip liners and then we'll get into the lipsticks. The packaging for the lip liners is gonna come in this all black box and it just says Glam Goth Beauty All Powerful Lip Liner. I know it's kind of small. And then we have three shades, Apocalypse, Oblivion, and Massacre. So first color up is Massacre. This is a new one that you guys haven't seen. I have yet to show it on my Instagram and my channel. And Massacre is just an all red shade. This is a true red. It's a lot lighter than uh, Blood Rose, which I have on my lip right now. I'll watch it for you on my hand. So that is Massacre, just an all red shade. I really just made this for if you feel like Blood Rose, which is the shade that I'm gonna talk about in a second, um, is a little bit too cool tone for you. You need to just touch it up or um, just if you just like an all red liner. So that is Massacre. Up next is Oblivion, which I have used many times on my channel. Such a beautiful all brown shade. A great shade to compare this to is Chestnut from MAC. Look, I know all the black girls was like, what? Girl, Chestnut is my motherfucking bitch, okay? Oblivion, even better, all dark brown, just a dark brown shade. I will wear this shade all by itself and throw a gloss on and just feel so fucking good. So, love this shade. And these are all pencils. They're not, they don't have that weird, I'm not going to compare them to one that I have because I'm not going to be messy, but I wanted an old-fashioned pencil, okay? Something classic that I can sharpen. It's not going to give me a hard fucking time because I don't have time for all of that. And then next we have Apocalypse, which I think that I did use on my channel before. It's an all-black shade and then it just has Glam Goth on it and then the shade name Apocalypse. And this one is just an all black matte pencil and you can also use this in the waterline on the eyes literally anywhere and that is all three of them apocalypse oblivion and massacre and then they have the list of ingredients you see that nice little hologram is that not cute as fuck uh, so those are the lip pencils okay now let's get into the lips i'm currently wearing the shade blood rose 24 hour matte bitch. 24 hours it's death proof before I get into it because I'm gonna start from light to dark yes okay but I wanted to uh, show off blood rose first because it is my signature red shade and I always hear the same thing I haven't found a red to suit uh, my skin tone I don't know which red to use in my opinion I love a cool toned red so that's what Blood Rose is for me. So this is Blood Rose, the shade that I have right now. And I believe I wore this with Oblivion and Apocalypse because I wanted the darker to kind of give me that nice little plump. Um, but this is the packaging. So beautiful. I wanted it to be timeless and classic and just, but still me. I feel like a lot of the lipsticks out right now, they're kind of all look the same with the same packaging. So I just wanted to do something different, but still keep it classic. And then it just has the Glam Goth logo right there. Very simple, very, very, very simple. And then when you open her up, this is what it looks like, and that is the doe foot. I wanted to keep the doe foot pretty small so that way you guys can do like an intricate line. I feel like when the doe foot is too big, you can't really um, get in there. And then this is what the box will look like. And I put the nice little holographic uh, touch in there. And it just changes depending on where the light is hitting it, which I thought was so cute. This is actually Rebellion, so it'll have the sticker up there on the front, and then it has some info on the side, and then the ingredients on the other side. So when you guys order, this is what it will come in. And all the lipsticks retail for $15. Um, and then I do have a bundle for 
everything for I believe about $80. So, I mean, hey, you gotta spend a little coin to save some coin. Okay, so let's take off Blood Rose and I will show you Parish, my favorite nude. So, let's get into that. Oh, God, Jesus. My lips are really gonna hate me tomorrow. So it does come off with makeup remover. I just have to do it really gently because I don't want to fuck up my lip filler. So I will say this though. If you have a dry ass lip and you know if your lips is dry, bitch, you fucking know. And if you put on a matte lipstick, your lip is going to be dry. Mind, don't say I didn't warn you. Don't, I don't want to hear, man, glam, God, her lipstick's dry as fuck. I already told you. I already told you they were dry. They're a little stained, but it's fine. We're going to put something else over top of it. So I'm going to go in with Oblivion, which is the brown shade. Let me not be lazy because I. Alright. So depending on your nude lip style, I like a more darker nude, unless like it's rough. Hi, he's so distracting. Um, unless it's like a super light nude, like how I did in my emo concert tutorial, if you guys have seen that video. So with this one, I really love to mix it with Oblivion. And that's why I named it Oblivion too, because it really just makes anything like a darker, smoky type of look. So then I'm gonna go in with Parish. With Parish, I'm gonna start right in the middle. And then I kind of like play with the color, like. I'll go like this. Until I have it where I want it. And then I go back in with Oblivion. And really just create that. I don't know. Just like that nice ombre effect. And it just gives me this beautiful like pumpkin nude color that I love. Like, I love these two together. I guess in some cases this is not a nude, but to me this is a nude. I think it's just so pretty for every day or if you do like a brown smoky eye. I love how it looks, love how it feels. It's super comfortable. I've worn it all day before you guys, all day long. And I feel like this would look amazing on all different skin tones. This is like the perfect everyday lip if you are alternative and you love that like pumpkin brown color so yes parish is one of my favorites and then with oblivion too like come on come on and oblivion is so beautiful by itself like i literally i cannot wait to you guys get it and see it and try it like i just i know in my heart you guys are gonna love it because i made it for you guys to love Now we're gonna wear Blood Rose now. So with most lip colors uh, that are not Blood Rose, I usually wear it with a brown liner just so it can like go back into my skin tone a little bit. I use a brown liner for pretty much anything. So with Blood Rose, I wanted to make sure these two looked so good together. So I usually, in the beginning of the video, I did Blood Rose and then I put Apocalypse on top of it. But I'm going to show you guys with just Oblivion and Blood Rose so you can really see the true shade of Blood Rose. I'm going to go in with Oblivion. And honestly, I don't feel like you only have to be a deeper complexion to use this technique. I'm 100% sure lighter complexions that use a brown and go in with a red, like you guys are gonna love the end result too. 
So we're gonna go in with Blood Rose. This is just a close-up of Blood Rose and her beautiful packaging. Just a beautiful red shade with a cooler tone and it's a true red. It's not, it's a deep red, but not too deep. I don't know, I'm not really good with like color explanations, but I will let her speak for herself. So usually with Blood Rose, I do two coats. I feel like not only is that gonna last, but the color payoff with two coats just looks amazing. So yes, does it take a little bit more time, but it's also going to last for fucking 24 hours. But this is Blood Rose, first in her name. Love her, use with Oblivion. And then with Massacre, you can even go in the center if you want to make it a little bit more lighter honestly what I would do is I would take this in my bag to like touch up with because this isn't going anywhere but let's say you are I don't know who knows what you're doing in your life I'm not judging you but your lip does come off a little bit you can just go in with massacre and touch her up would put on another coat but I have two more colors to show you guys and getting this off was a bitch but I am so in love with Blood Rose. So quick little story about Blood Rose. So, <laughs> you know, a couple years ago when I was like going through it, I would like get dressed up and like drink wine and sing Lana Del Rey on uh, my social media. When I think about it now, it's kind of embarrassing, but it did help me get through a lot of the bullshit. One day I did a Victoria Blood Rose look uh, which was just me in like all red and I like poured I like drip blood on myself and I just felt so Powerful there's something about the color red that is just so strikingly Beautiful that I love so I wanted to um, Actually, I'll show you guys. I hope that like later on the line. This doesn't like fuck me up, but um, I ordered I ordered this YSL red lipstick, which I mean, I love, I think it's pretty evident that I love um, high end things and I love high end makeup. So when you're on the website with YSL, you can engrave um, on the lipstick. So I put Blood Rose on the side and I wore this as my signature red lip. I have yet to wear these two together. Um, I, I'm not gonna put it on right now. Just the fact that like I felt like this was for me, I love that. So I mean, why not make my own Blood Rose shade? And this is like the true meaning of inspiration and motivation. Like I made this and later on down the line, I was able to make my own Blood Rose shade. So one coat actually isn't too bad. I'm not, I'm not mad at one coat. I would do two coats, but one coat still is it's such a vibe. Yeah, so this is Blood Rose. So next up is Rebellion, and Rebellion is a very dark, dark, dark red. It's like a reddish plum. So you can go in with Oblivion or Apocalypse. I'm gonna do Apocalypse because I wanna show you guys just how sexy this color is. I love Apocalypse. I love how it just glides on so easily. So let's go in, do I not look crazy? Let's go in with Rebellion. So Rebellion's first coat will dry a little splotchy because you know she's she's a rebel girl she don't want to dry as she's supposed to what I would do is I would wait for the first coat to dry down and go in with the second coat
Rebellion is one of my favorite colors because this is just such a mood. Like, it's just such a bad bitch mood. Okay, so let's wait for this to dry down a little bit. With these, you do want to wait till they dry down. I know that, like, that could be somewhat of a hassle for some of you guys, especially people who don't, um, wear makeup like that and they may not know how different consistencies work but i'm telling you because i made them wait for it to dry down apply another coat and you will be set to go the first coat gonna be a little blotchy another reason why i named it rebellion but um once it dries down it's absolutely beautiful actually it looks perfect with hair and my outfit right now love this because this the lip is like the star of the show and then with apocalypse lip liner it just gives it this perfect pout i love rebellion because it's such a beautiful classy color but at the same time it's like don't get shit fucked up like i'm still like i'll beat your ass my poor lips right now like oh my god like tomorrow they're gonna be massive but we're gonna go in with the Apocalypse Lip Liner again. I'm gonna show you guys my last and final shade. Last and not least, we have a Nightmare. A Nightmare is an all black matte shade. So same thing with all my other colors. We're gonna start right in the middle. And best thing about Nightmare is that you do not need two coats. I would recommend it if you are going out and you want it to last um, and you just want it to be like a solid uh, shade. In, in my opinion, I feel like no matter what lipstick you wear, you should always do two coats. I have to say, I did not really fuck with black lipstick until I made Nightmare. And I would put it on at night and just like, this is such a mood. Love this shade. I already know. I already know, Glam Gang, like y'all are gonna eat this shade up. And I really like can't wait for you guys to get and play with. I did go back and forth with the shade names for this because I didn't want to give it something negative. I think black is is such a timeless and a classic color, but every color that I put with it and I would wear it, I would just like this is not this is not a vibe. Like I feel like I'm gonna snatch somebody up in their nightmares and thus nightmare was born so those are all four of my shades nightmare rebellion blood rose and perish and then we have oblivion massacre and apocalypse you can get the whole bundle for 80 dollars or you can get each pencil for 13 dollars in each lipstick for $15. I will be using these a lot on my channel and I cannot wait for you guys like honestly fuck me like fuck me. I cannot wait to see you guys in them. I want you guys to tag me, post, whatever I would like to see. If you are watching this video the lipsticks are already out. I actually launched them yesterday. You know launch my lipstick the same day that Trump gets impeached so bitch if that's not powerful I don't know what the fuck is. Wearing this really cute top from Gojane. I will list my chains and my wig all down below before you guys even ask and I love you guys so 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 fucking much. Love you guys so much. Thank you for an amazing 2019. Uh, the past three years of me just being a business owner has been fucking crazy. But I'm just, I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to show you guys what else is in store. Honestly, speaking on new shit coming in 2020, hello. I, I don't know what to name her yet, but we finally have a makeup bag and she is going on pre-order soon just so i can get a good head count of how many that i need to order but bitch she's so big all your diamonds can fit in the hair all your bitch then we have a little pocket bitch dude 
girl it's all black pvc i will show you guys the other colorway when it comes so yes good thing good things are happening i make a youtube video every once in a blue moon just because um, i'm a one woman show so but i do post on instagram a lot so if you want more details on this if you want more details on this bag better hit that subscribe button because i will announce when she is launching and it's all black velvet you guys i am obsessed with this bag i almost wore this out as like a purse the other day but i was like let me not be fucking extra if you love this video if you love me and you love my all powerful lipsticks don't forget to give this a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to a bitch hello love you guys so much have an amazing holiday and amazing new year and i love you bye